Two breaded pork tenderloins. Thanks, Joe. On the house, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What is this? Breaded pork tenderloin? Come on, bro. This is an Indiana staple. It's also the only sandwich that can double as its home plate. Look at the size <laughs> of that thing. Yeah. Man, all the big food shows have been gagging to get a piece of this here right gone for years. But, you know, owner just shoots them off. Old school, Midwest. No desire for celebrity, only to work matters. Hmm. You need to stop letting Marcus get under your skin, boy. I mean, he's arrogant, but you're so self-conscious. You'll eventually lose. It's gonna affect everything you do in the court, and then you're never gonna get to the NBA. Don't come. We're only having lunch so you can find out how to get out of the city, right? Uh, look, I I'm sorry, man. Okay, I just... Only apologize when absolutely necessary. We need more ambition on this team. So what's it like, you know, like, the league? No different to this. Yeah, players are faster, they can jump higher, of course they're the same size. Better hotels. Mm. You wanna know how to get in? Deal with Marcus, you know, like, make sure he doesn't mess up my chances with the scouts. Here's an idea. How about you see Marcus as not a rival, but more of a teammate? Why? He's not going to. I mean, like, I grew up in Houston. Okay, I was a Rockets fan, do or die. That, that was my team. You know, it still is deep down. But you, young players, you, you were brought up in the system. And you probably traveled around the country, you know, in camps and tournaments. And, and, and you were probably shuffled around by the AAU. It's, you probably never really had a team, right? The, the Lakers, of course. The Heat. Yeah, I'm not talking about respect. I'm talking about love. Okay, a love that charges you, feeds you, and that is the difference between a player and a legend. Show them that answer that you're not just passing through. You show them that passion, the, the appreciation, and I promise you, none of the time you spend here will be wasted. What's up? You're Paul Tatum, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. You still get recognized, and, as and you should. You're AI. Uh, yeah, hey. <sighs> You, you guys, both of you guys are like my favorite player on, on the Mad Ants. Mad Ants? You a fan? I'm Zach. Zach Coleman. Guy, guys, it's the Mad Ants! It's the Mad Ants! Mad Ants! I told you it was them! The Mad Ants? <laughs> yeah, man. Are, are you kidding? I mean, yeah. We watch every single game. This season has been so freaking exciting, dude. It's so awesome to know you guys are definitely going whoa, all the whoa, way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's just slow it down. It's long you're, season. You're right, Mr. Tatum. You know, one game at a time, but man, AI... I've seen you be under way worse pressure, and you always come through. When you hit that baseline jumper with two seconds left to send it to OT in that tourney game you played, man, legendary. Ice water in your veins. That's <laughs> cute, man. Speaking of which, you guys good? You need a refill? It's on me. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So you, you know about me. You know how I deal, huh? Honestly? If, if I can speak honestly. <laughs> Sounds like you can. I grew up in this town my whole life. But I feel like I know this world, man. I know the game. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. But I consider myself like a social media maven. I, I know how silly that sounds coming out of my mouth, but I'm serious, dude. Look. Let me see this, man. Oh, look, you got 50,000 followers? Yo, wh what did you say you did? 51.4, but everything. Dude, ad campaigns, I boost the social media presence of all these local businesses. Right now, I'm driving people to the Wayne Grove. I'm helping this small coffee shop down by the river. They're outselling even the big guys by the courthouse, dude. But even if they weren't blowing up, I would make sure they were blowing up. But sometimes, it's just great to support a product that you actually believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know, a, a coffee refill would be good. I'm really close to this business being big enough to quit this job, but enough about me. What about you guys? I mean, the Mad Ants and you, AI, you guys don't have a social media presence. Nothing comes up. I'm, you know, I'm been a little busy playing basketball. Don't really I'm have not time saying that you show. should worry about it, but maybe I should be worrying about it, man. Ever since you threw down that sick dunk on Corey Harris in Shanghai, you've been a social media ghost. I mean, do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. <laughs> Or just your regular manager, if you don't have uh, one of those. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't, but um, thank you, though. Appreciate hey, that. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Think about it. Do I still think about it? Yeah, of course I still think about getting that mid-season call to be the 12th man. And I'm always going to think about it. You know, maybe I'll get that one last right. But you wanted advice. Be here. Now. Don't worry about what's coming. You're good to Fort Wayne, she'll pay you back in full. <laughs> Let the 
Coach Spring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, you saw them at the time. Okay, we are kings around here. And yeah, sure, everyone in the NBA is a king too, but here it's, it's, it's different. You know, it, it's like your family's filling the stands in the high school gym. And it's just a couple of farm boys playing one on one. Hey, what do you say to a couple of kings taking on the common folk in the game against the barn door? Hey, y'all need two more? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's on, brother. Barbecue chicken alert.
two nine. Here we go, Jack. All night. Barbecue chicken alert. Two to ten. Check the ball fly. 